are you? This is Nina Perez and this is Memoirs of a Fat Girl going from F-A-T to P-H-A-T in real time. And I am here today because I wanted to have a mug cake. Now I've been seeing all of these all over the place and all different kinds of recipes and all different kinds of things. And so yesterday I made my husband try one for me and we tweaked a couple of things. And so today I wanted to bring that to you because it's super simple and why aren't you making it? It's so delicious. So. I am not like a keto expert or paleo expert or anything like that. I am a chef by trade and I just take what I think would work and I try to put it together and create a recipe. So hopefully this one will work because I tweaked it so I haven't tried it yet. You are going to do this with me. Okay, so don't you dare forget to subscribe, click the like button, click subscribe, share the videos. Let's join this revolution where we are going to FA from FAT to PHAT, which is pretty healthy and terrific. So I am Nina Perez, like I said, and so we are gonna get started. So first thing I have in here is I'm gonna make a cream filling. So I'm gonna make this chocolate cake. I'm gonna cut this little mud cake in half, and then I'm going to fill it with cream because, <laughs> yeah, that's what a fat girl does, okay? But I am going to change it up a little bit. I am not going to use any kind of um, sugars or anything like that. I'm gonna use alternative sugars. So in here right now, I have three tablespoons of um, soft butter. I have a tablespoon of, of cream cheese, but not really cream cheese because I can't have milk. So this is Daya. So it's like a, um, I think it's a soy-based cream cheese. I'm not sure, but oh, it's made with coconut oil. But anyway, so I'm gonna take that cream cheese, one tablespoon of it. You can use re real cream cheese if you can have it. Uh, and then I have two teaspoons of coconut oil and I have some vanilla extract in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend this really well together until it's really combined. And then I'm going to put in one tablespoon of, no, actually I got two tablespoons of erythritol and two tablespoons of powdered monk fruit. They're both powdered, so I put them through my coffee grinder and powdered them, and I'm gonna put those in there, and that's going to be your cream. When we are done creaming this, we're gonna set this to the side, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the mug cake. So just one sec. Once you got this nice and creamy, this is going to be like your cream filling, and this is going to go in the center of your chocolate cake. Yeah, I said that, chocolate cake. All right, so we're gonna set this to the side, and we're going to now just take like a glass mixing, um, measuring cup actually, and so all we're gonna do is we're gonna put in here the ingredients for your chocolate cake. So we're gonna put in a quarter cup or so, I think I even put a little bit more than a quarter cup, but this is a quarter cup of almond flour. I just found that a quarter cup fit better when I baked it because it rises a little bit and I didn't want it to go over my ramekin. All right, so we have a quarter cup of almond flour. I have one tablespoon of monk fruit and one tablespoon of erythritol, both of them powdered right, because the um, granulated takes a little bit more to dissolve and I just found that to be a little grainy in the cake. It just didn't melt as pretty as I wanted it. So that's why I did the powdered. All right, and then we're gonna do um, one uh, tablespoon of cocoa powder, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, um, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder, okay? That's gonna go in here. And we're gonna do one egg and vanilla. So about, I think I used about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract in here. And this is going to go right in here. So this is basically going to be your liquid for your cake, right? You're gonna mix this up really good. You can use a whisk, you can use a spoon, you can use a fork, whatever you want. I think I'm gonna switch over uh, to a spoon. Okay, so I'm switching over to the spoon. And I'm gonna mix this up really well. So you don't need to over mix it, just make sure that your egg is beaten in there really well, right? Because you don't wanna have like egg whites in your chocolate cake, got that? So there we go, that's it. Simple, easy peasy people, easy peasy. If you're gonna be in quarantine, you might as well enjoy it and not have any guilt, right? So I have this um, ramek in here and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of coconut oil. 
got it right here because you know nothing like not being prepared <laughs> anyway so this is going to go in here all you're going to do is literally pour this in 30 seconds 30 seconds in the microwave check it see if it's still really wet if it's still really wet do another like 10 seconds or so but don't do too much because you want the cake to have a really nice uh soft consistency to it and if you overcook it it gets a little too firm um so i like my cake a little bit softer so we're gonna pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds and i'll be right back to show you what this looks like and that's literally it that is literally it so you guys better make this recipe and let me know what you think i'll be right back all right guys, so it has been about 40 seconds. So I put it in for 30 seconds, I took it out, it still had a lot of wet around it, so I put it in for another 10 seconds. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta smell the cocoa powder and the cinnamon, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah, okay. I'm gonna pop this out and I'm gonna let it cool. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All right, isn't that pretty? It's a little wet, but that's okay, I like it like that. All right, we're gonna let this cool down for about, huh, maybe like 15 minutes or so, not even that long, maybe even 10 minutes, because it's such a small cake, it doesn't take so long. We're gonna cut this bad boy in half, we're gonna fill it with that cream cheese filling, and then we're gonna eat it. Anyway, so we will be right back. All right, welcome back. So it's been about 15 minutes. It's a little bit cooler now. Oh, it's actually much cooler, so that is good. But I can't wait no more, I can't wait no more. Okay, so <laughs> it's gonna take this amazing cream cheese mixture here. And I had my hubby try it, and he said um, he wants me to increase the cream cheese and decrease some of maybe the butter or something. So. I agree, it actually, um, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is now, but if you guys want, tweak it. So I had in here um, three tablespoons of soft butter and one tablespoon of cream cheese, but what I would do is even it out and do two of the butter and two of the cream cheese, along with the two teaspoons of the um, coconut oil. So this is what it looks like, O-M to the G. Okay, I probably should have done it the other way so the pretty part is out there, but A. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Do you, see, do you see that? Do you see that? Now, if I pop this in the fridge and this cream cheese just hardens a little bit, could you imagine how freaking good this would be? But my fat ass can't wait, so we ain't gonna wait. <laughs> so we're gonna cut this in half. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Check it out. Check it out. Do you see that? I hope you do. And you better try it because you're gonna regret it if you don't. Oh. That is so good. That is so good. Mm. You know when, when you have something that's really, really delicious, I don't know about, I don't know about skinny people, but fat people, when we have something that's really, really good, we either shaking the head or we dancing when we eat it. That's how I feel like doing right now. I'm just. Dancing while I'm eating. Dancing while I'm eating. <laughs> Guys, seriously. You have to try it. You have to try it. It is absolutely delicious. Look at that. Absolutely delicious. So, don't you dare forget to subscribe to the channel. Click down below. Share. Click a like. All right? And subscribe. Subscribe, people. Subscribe. There's a lot of videos on here already. I am coming out with more content. I am trying to come out with all of these recipes as I go and as I learn and as I have recipes that are like bomb.com, they're all gonna be coming out hopefully in a whole compilation and a little cookbook for everybody to buy. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Let me know by commenting down below, okay? You can also email me at hello at memoirsofafatgirl.live. Thank you so much for watching. This is Nina Perez from Memoirs of a Fat Girl going from F-A-T to P-H-A-T in real time. Bye!